Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Rabina Rastavan, aka The Realist Astrologer. And this is part three on uh, Tupac's numerology and natal chart. So uh, let's get started. So like I said in the previous video, I'm going to go more in depth uh, with respect to the connection between Suge Knight and Tupac astrologically. So when I put uh, Tupac and Suge Knight's charts together, I see some very telling aspects. Aspects are basically the connections that one person's uh, chart makes to another person's chart. So basically it can be like uh, person A's moon is squaring person B's uh, Jupiter, and that can denote conflict in the area of uh, needing personal space. It could deal with a long distance relationship. So there you have it. So when I put Tupac's chart against Suge Knight's chart, um, one of the uh, main things that stand out is that Suge Knight's son is making a quincunx, which is, which is a challenging aspect to Tupac's Neptune. Now that can deal with, and what I'm doing right now is I'm just, you know, giving you a simplified version of the meaning of these aspects. Now, these aspects, they definitely go more in depth and it's definitely more technical, but just to avoid a lot of astrological jargon and to be more, uh, you know, concise and brief, I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown of what these aspects can point to between Tupac and Suge Knight. So, uh, yeah, so Suge Knight's son is in Quincunx to Tupac's Neptune. Now, the sun in a person's chart is basically the powerhouse of the chart. It deals with your individuality, your identity, basically your purpose, basically um, the way, the manner in which you live your life. Um, the sun basically is everything in the chart and everything else revolves around it. Now, um, so the sun deals with power. It also deals with authority. So when you combine that with Neptune, that can deal with having authority or power over someone and victimizing them in the process or deceiving them in the process or uh, causing them to be in bondage or be exploited. Neptune also deals with sacrifice, secrecy, also secret societies. Now, Suge Knight's Venus is making a quincunx. Again, that's a challenging aspect to Tupac's Neptune. Again, the theme of Neptune is exploitation, bondage, deception. It can also deal with prison. So think about uh, what I said in the previous video. Suge Knight bailed Tupac out of jail in exchange for him signing on uh, to Death Row Records for three albums. So that's the epitome of selling your soul. Neptune can deal with uh, having to make a sacrifice. It can deal with being deceived. It could deal with your own self undoing. So knowing that you're getting into a bad situation, but you doing it anyway, and you knowing that that's going to lead to your um, to your eventual downfall. So uh, all of that is Neptune. Now, Suge Knight's Mars is in square to Pox Venus. Now, that can lead to uh, selfish motives on Suge Knight's part. The reason why this is on Suge Knight's part is because Mars is an aggressive planet. Venus is a receptive planet. So when it comes to Mars square Venus, more often than not, the person who has the Mars is going to be in control of the person who has the Venus, or they're going to be dominating the person who has the Venus. So to reiterate, Suge Knight is Mars and Tupac is Venus in this uh, situation. So Suge Knight's Mars is making a square, which is a challenging aspect. It denotes conflict to Tupac's Venus. And that can deal with selfish motives. Um, it's a mutable square. Remember I talked about mutable squares in the previous video and how they can deal with extreme violence. Um, Cause uh, Suge Knight's Mars is in Virgo. Um, so that could deal with selfish motives, um, duplicity, Venus deals with Tupac's musical musical ability and um, Suge Knight standing to gain millions before and after his death. And that's why that's because Venus deals with money. And in Gemini, I said before and after his death, because Gemini is deals with the twins or deals with dual uh, personas or two different types of scenarios or situations going on. 
So Venus and Gemini could deal with money before or after the fact regarding, you know, the death. Um, also, Mars square Venus, in my opinion, deals with Suge Knight's influence over Tupac's artistry once he signed on to Death Row Records. Because remember, I said Mars is about uh, Mars square Venus. Usually the person who has Mars is dominating the person with Venus. Venus represents music and artistry. So in Tupac's chart, Venus dealt with music, in particular rapping, since Venus is in Gemini. Gemini deals with speech, communication, talking, um, and also uh, writing as well. Now, Virgo deals with writing. Suge Knight's Mars is in Virgo, but Virgo is about perfecting. It's also about be critiquing. It's also about, you know, saying, okay, this method is best, or this is what you need to do. This is what you need to write. So that Mars square Venus is very telling with respect to Tupac's material. Once he signed on to Death Row Records, which I stated in a previous video, was very morbid, very dark, um, very uh, gang related, dealt with, you know, him basically uh, predicting his own death. Now, um, Suge Knight's Jupiter is opposing Tupac's Jupiter. Now, this is very telling. Now, Jupiter in a chart can deal with that which expands whatever it comes into contact with. It deals with growth. It deals with abundance. It also deals with beliefs, spirituality. It deals with philosophy. So, in the just to break it down in very simpler terms, with Suge Knight's Jupiter being in Taurus, and it's at the 29th degree, mind you, the 29th degree is the most critical and most volatile degree of any sign the 29th degree is a sign of is a number of 29 is a number of heavy karma very heavy karma it's a number of extreme conflict it's about the need to have grace under pressure now suge nice jupiter is at the 29th degree of scorpio i'm sorry taurus while tupac's jupiter is at the 28th degree of scorpio so taurus opposition Scorpio, that right there deals with conflict or a power struggle, especially regarding money. And then um, Taurus can deal with music and artistry. Uh, Scorpio can deal with that gang or thug-like mentality. It can also deal with death. It can deal with, again, death row records. It can deal with murder. It can deal with underhandedness, manipulation. So uh, Suge Knight's Jupiter in Taurus at the 29th degree, which is very extreme. Basically, that's like, you know, I'm going to get this because Taurus represents money. So basically, the mentality is I'm going to get as much money because Jupiter expands things. It grows things. It enlarges things. Basically, I'm going to get as much money by any means necessary. Now, uh, Suge Knight's relationship with Tupac isn't his only volatile relationship. He also... Um, had a volatile relationship with uh, um, Vanilla Ice. He basically hung Vanilla Ice out of a, um, you know, a high-rise window, threatening him when um, it was like very reminiscent of the Five Heartbeats. Remember when Big Red Dangle, that was actually on tonight. I thought about that. I was like, wow, that's kind of like, that's really like kind of eerie how that came on when, when I knew I was going to discuss this today. But anyway, remember the scene in um, Five Heartbeats where Big Red um, dangled Dude out the window because Dude was like, you know, I want to talk about my royalties. And Dude was like, you know, my office hours are from 9 to 5. And Dude pressed him a little. I'm telling you, Dude must have, Big Red must have been, uh, I'm going to say Big Red was a, a, let's say he was a Virgo. Well, whatever, he was a mutable sign because what he did was like totally over the top or he had something in his chart or whatever. But anyway, we just talking about, you know, fictional characters. But anyway, I digress. But like I said, Suge Knight, um, his relationship with Tupac isn't the first volatile relationship he's had. He's known to be a thug. He's known to be a bully. And if you see his chart and if you understand astrology, he got a chart of a gangster, like straight up, yo, his chart is scary. So just looking at his chart, it's like, wow, like Suge Knight is someone that you really don't want to meet in a dark alley by yourself. Like he's somebody that you really don't want to, you know, 
invite in your close circles. And I'm sure he gives off that type of aura. And when you look at him, you know, he's big, he's burly. He actually, you know, he kind of got it going on. He's a little sexy for a big guy or whatever. I, I always like, I was like, okay, sure, now you got it going on. But he's definitely dark-sided. Aries, dark-sided Aries. But anyway, um, yeah. So Suge Knight and Tupac's relationship was very lopsided from the start. Um, basically, with that Mars square Venus, it shows that uh, Suge Knight was coming from purely selfish uh, motives or with purely selfish intent. What's very telling also is Suge Knight's son in Aries is at the 29th degree of Aries. So again, like I said, I hope you guys are really understanding by now about numerology combined with astrology or numerology in general. 29 is a very hardcore extreme number and it can deal with heavy karma and it can deal with just, you know, madness or just like a lot of trouble follows you or you're creating a lot of trouble or a lot of conflict. So should night sun is at the 29th degree of Aries, a very critical, critical uh, degree it's nothing nice. So, um, moving along. So again, with that Jupiter opposition, Jupiter, Taurus opposition, Scorpio, it not only deals with a ba battle over money and power, but it also deals with that whole East coast, West coast battle. And again, with Suge Knight, it's all about the ends justifying the means by any means necessary since his Jupiter is at the 29th degree of Taurus. Now, Suge Knight's Jupiter is opposing Pac's Neptune, so that is a perfect um, example of him bailing him out from jail, since Neptune deals with imprisonment and jail. Suge Knight's Jupiter is right on top of Pac's Saturn in Taurus. So I mentioned already that Suge Knight's Jupiter is at the 29th degree of Taurus, but guess what? Two Pac's. Taurus, I mean Saturn, I'm sorry, Tupac, Saturn is at the 29th degree of Taurus. So, Suge Knight's Jupiter is right on top of Tupac, Saturn. That can deal with basically gaining a lot of money as a result of wielding control over someone or taking someone under your control. Um, you know, basically uh, having them sell their soul. Saturn deals with business, but it can also deal with opportunism. So he saw opportunity in Tupac. Jupiter deals with opportunity as well, deals with growth expansion, like I said. In Scorpio, it deals with underhanded activity. It deals with manipulation. It deals with subversion. It deals with foul play. Now, I have to make a disclaimer. I'm not saying that, you know, Suge Knight is responsible for Tupac's death or the shooting or anything like that. I'm just drawing a connection between these two individuals and showing how astrologically they match up. All of this is allegations because Suge Knight has never been charged with the murder of Tupac. However, I believe astrologically there are some connections that can be made and that are very evident if you know where to look. So just to, you know, just to prevent from myself from, you know, falling into any kind of conflict legally, I have to really state that I'm not accusing Suge Knight of any kind of foul play with regard to Tupac. I'm just putting out there the potential for these things to occur. So like I said, Suge Knight's Jupiter at the 29th degree of Taurus, it's right on top of Tupac Saturn. That right there can denote a karmic relationship. It can denote, uh, basically, uh, like I said, uh, should I see an opportunity in uh, Tupac and basically uh, manipulating him and a lot of, you know, foul play comes as a result of that or what have you, but the energy is there. I'm not saying that, you know, he's guilty of it, but the energy is definitely there and the potential is there. So that's very telling when, you know, one person's 
planet is on top of another person's planet. That denotes a serious relationship. And with Saturn in the mix, it could denote a, a relationship that deals with some kind of subjugation or degradation. Saturn also can deal with death as well. Scorpio can deal with death. Death usually either through uh, an outside force or foul play. Now, finally, Shug Knight's North Node is very close to Tupac's Mercury. Remember I mentioned Tupac's Mercury at the 18th degree of Gemini in my past two videos. Um, and, and I mentioned that Tupac's nemesis was opposing his Mercury. So, with Suge Knight's North Node being very close to Tupac's Mercury, that would put Suge Knight's North Node in opposition to Tupac's nemesis, which would tie him into the whole enemy theme, nemesis theme with Tupac, and basically him facing possibly an enemy. Remember I talked about nemesis can deal with enemies from within or without. Within could be either you're your own worst enemy or it could deal with somebody within your clique, somebody within your squad, somebody within your unit that betrays you. Scorpio also deals with betrayal. Um, so yeah, oppositions in general can deal with betrayal. So with that Mercury opposition nemesis and Suge Knight's North Node tying into it, Basically, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's it's definitely making the connection. Now, Suge Knight's North Node is in Gemini, and catch this. It's at the 16th degree of Gemini. Tupac was born on June 16th. So, again, the theme of 16, sacrifice, misfortune, catastrophe, victimization, your downfall. 16 could be a number of deception, illusion. Um, enslaving someone, imprisoning someone, keeping somebody in bondage, or basically exploiting someone, or, you know, having a trade-off, but the trade-off deals with, you know, you being on the losing end, or Tupac being on the losing end. So that North Node at the 16th degree of Gemini puts the South Node at the 16th degree of Sagittarius. Again, Gemini Sagittarius, there goes that whole um, mutable opposition. Mutable signs are prone to extreme violence. 16 can deal with victimization and misfortune and catastrophe. Accidents. Gemini also deals with cars, traffic, travel. And you know Tupac got shot in a car while he was riding with Suge Knight at the wheel. I posted the picture in part one. Now, Mercury rules Gemini. And remember I said Gemini deals with the streets, so traffic, all of that. Gemini with Mercury, and then, like I said, Mercury um, in Tupac's charts at the 18th degree of Gemini, opposing Nemesis. So again, that ties into Tupac being killed by a Nemesis, while in the car. Do you see how astrology works? Like, it's very literal. Like, once you understand what each sign means, what the planets mean, what the houses mean, what the asteroids mean, there's so many layers to astrology. But once you understand and you get a full 360 degrees of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the cosmos and how it affects people's lives, then you could tie it all in together, add numerology into the mix, and there you have the connection. So I'm going into part four with this. This is like basically a mini series of the Mystic Media channel. Um, Tupac, I, I really like Tupac and I actually got some personal experience dealing with somebody in his family, but um, you know, I'm not gonna share that. But anyway, um, yeah, Tupac, he was really, he was one of a kind and he was definitely, you know, he was ahead of his time in, in terms of a lot of his thought process and what he wanted, you know, for the oppressed and the downtrodden and everything. But I'm going to bring this particular uh, segment to a close. Stay tuned for part four. Part four is where I'm going to get into the actual date of the shooting. I'm going to look at the charts um, 
more in depth actually on that day of the shooting. Uh, Tupac actually didn't die the day that he got shot. He died six days later in the hospital. So uh, just stay tuned for that. Peace and blessings.